This summer, did you go to the movie theater to participate in the Barbenheimer madness? Or maybe did you catch a game in a sports arena? Or did you see your favorite band or singer in concert? Well, then your life was probably saved by this random dude named Steele McKay, a renaissance man with a commanding voice and a stunning mustache. Just look at that gorgeous mouth brow. Remember that the mouth brow remains the clearest expression of masculinity a man can have above his waist. McKay was an actor, playwright, producer, teacher, innovator, and inventor. In the late 1800s, Steele innovated theater by creating something that you probably take for granted. And it's right under your cheeks. No, your other cheeks. Yeah, the amazing invention that you experienced was a folding chair. Seriously, that dumb little plastic contraption that folds up when you stand up probably saved your life this summer. That's crazy, y'all. For hundreds of years, theater was the pinnacle of entertainment. For the Greeks, for the Romans, for Shakespeare's time, and for feudal Japan. Theater was amazing, but it was crazy long. So long that you're like, wrap it up, Hamlet, stop talking, and just do it already. Or to take arms against a sea of trouble. Theater took so long and went way into the night and so they had to invent the gas lamp. It lit up dark stages for hours into the night and theater goers raved about gas lamp theaters until it started to burn theaters down. During the 1800s there were over 300 fires that killed hundreds of people. This gas lamp was responsible for every single one of these fires. In Brooklyn 1876, one of the most horrible theater fires in history occurred. The people were trapped, there were no fire exits, no sprinklers, and people couldn't get out of their seats. It killed 278 people. Hey everyone, why so glum? The sun Annie, come. sweetie, not the time, okay? Steele McKay was rightfully disturbed by the amount of people who died in theater fires. He believed that something needed to change. The tragedy in Brooklyn inspired McKay to invent something that would save millions of lives, then and also now. It must have been so daunting because large, complex problems need a large, complex solution. So you're saying yes. But if, yep. then that's right. Holy crumpet. Am I the only one who's lost? But as history proves, it can be solved with lots of smaller, simpler solutions. Steele identified his talents and invented a chair that falls in theaters, making it easier for people to escape potential fires. He knew the mechanical world, so his invention became a mechanical solution. Besides the what in his invention, we have to consider the why. Why would he even do this? Why invent it all? Why work so hard and put so much time into solving this little problem? Uh. Seems kind of pointless sometimes, right? The answer to that question depends on how we view the world. Do we see the world as a place that should serve just us? To cater to our wants? Then you might invent for selfish reasons, so the world could benefit you more. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. But what if we saw it through more, let's say, spiritual eyes? Do we choose to see the good in people and the value of life? Then we see people who need help just like us and have a better motivation behind inventing. We invent because humanity, despite its flaws, deserve to live better, happier lives. I think this is why Steel McKay chose to invent the folding chair. And also why he continued to innovate by building theaters that could simulate wind, rain, the moon, and the sun in ways no human had ever experienced in theater. Because he loved people and he wanted to reward their hard-earned money with spectacle and wonder. And because he loved people, he invented a chair that would make you and me safer if an emergency ever broke out at a ball game or a movie or a concert. Save yourself! This begs the question, what are we doing to improve the lives around us? What's our folding chair? What can you invent to improve your life and the lives around you? And I'm actually not talking about literal inventions. Are you struggling to reconnect to meaning in your life? Invent some time in your day. Set aside 15 minutes to be alone. Pray, meditate, center yourself. Or maybe you're feeling uninspired. Have you lost connection with art or beauty or being a creator? Then take more time to be inspired. Set aside time for what lifts you up. It could be painting, it could be reading books or scriptures, it could be listening or playing music. Invention is the human spirit of making more out of this world. Our lives are a balance of mental, physical, and spiritual health. Doing good and reconnecting with the divine is how we get our spiritual self back in balance. Do others you know need help? Are they lost or struggling with life's challenges? See the problem, identify your talents, and invent a way to help them. Give someone else your time. Even the biggest problems and burdens in others' lives can be helped by us changing their lives in small, measurable ways. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Start small. Don't burn yourself out with some grand gesture. You're bound to fail and get down on yourself. You don't need to invent the light bulb. That's already been done in case you didn't know. Try to find a way to help your life be better and the people around you. And that doesn't have to be something big. It can be small. Small things like folding chairs create ripples in people's lives. It can be something as unnoticeable as complimenting somebody else. Be like Steel McKay. Find motivation and invention because you want to improve other people's lives. See something that's in your life and see how you can make it better. Do good and the world will answer back with good. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you can go out and invent something like steel, whether it be big or small, but that can influence people's lives for the better. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Here at Skylight, we're just trying to be just like steel and invent something good for you. See ya!